So here, as you can see, I start with mango. You always need fruits because they contain enzymes which you need to have a healthy and fast metabolism. So then I have my coconut rice milk. It's unsweetened. And um, this is very creamy. If you get it from um, the fridge, it's creamy. If you have it uh, just outside of the cool system, um, then it's more liquid. So then I have two kinds of um, cereals. These are crunchy nut cereals. I don't know which is better, so I try both. And uh, as well, you can start with the booster. If you have no, no time for the breakfast, I start with the booster and I start with the vitamins. If I have no time for the breakfast, first booster vitamins and then you take half an hour later the protein. Uh, later, I will make a video about that to show you um, which makes more uh, sense to uh, how, how it makes more sense to mix it. And um, okay, here we go. I start with the breakfast and tell you which is better. <laughs> so what is important? First of all, you have to eat the, um, the fruits. Mm. Because they are much more faster in the digesting system as you start with mm, um, fats and the proteins. So. Mm -hmm. mm. I have to say, um, I might need a little bit higher. As I win my European Championship um, in 2013, I eat eight of these mangoes a day. Mm. So nobody should tell you um, this is unhealthy or this makes you fat. Mm. There was a week in my life where I eat. 20 to 25 bananas a day. Mm. And what changed mm, was I only need four to six hours of sleep a day. And um, I was I was totally fresh and awake. Um, sometimes I say like I take cocaine. Or I never take cocaine in my life, but I I thought this is the way you have to feel or you must feel when you take cocaine. I was so fresh, so so clear in my mind. Of course, after one week, it becomes very lazy for myself to eat bananas, only bananas. But um, what I um, find out is that the most people tell you um, what happens when you eat a lot of bananas. Some people tell me, if you eat a lot of bananas, you get problems with diarrhea. Yeah, um, so... You lose a, a lot of water when you go on the toilet and um, you have problems with the digesting system and they tell you you got um, problems to, to go on the toilet. Everybody tells me different things and that when, that, when I ask them, do you ever eat more than five bananas per day in your life? Everybody said no. And how can you tell me what happens if I eat 20 or 25 bananas a day? How you can tell me that? And there I find out that a lot of people talking and have no practical experience in that way. Mm. I love mango. <clears throat> mm. You see, this goes very fast. Mm -hmm. My wife mm, gets two apples a day in the morning for my chef. I make it um, by myself for her, uh, two apples a day. Mm -hmm. And I cut it in slices. Mm -hmm. And then she gets the booster. Right now she loses eight kilo, seven to eight kilo of body fat between in 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 six weeks. Mm -hmm. Delicious. 
delicious. So I start with the super nutty granola, and we will see what happens. Oh, very delicious. Just a little bit to see how the taste is. Yeah. It's like a, it's more like a curd or like a yogurt, yeah? Very good. Very good. You get all this stuff at Lidl when you are from Germany. That's a discounter. Very good. Mm. The carbs gives you a lot of energy and the nuts gives you good fat acids which you need for your brain. Mm. The rice coconut milk is a plant milk mm, which gives you a lot of um, good fat acids, carbohydrates and um, the thing it's plant based so it's easier to digest, it's better for the immune system. But this is not the style how you should eat when you go on a diet. This is more the style when you are, um, when you want to build muscles as fast as this is possible. If you want to lose fat, I show you the next days how your nutrition should be. But this is when you want to gain muscles. Okay, see you later. <clears throat> There's one thing I forgot to tell you. When you eat stuff for muscle growth, yeah, like I explained before. Then don't eat too less. The most people eat too less. I have one guy, he told me, I eat so much, I eat the whole day <clears throat> and I don't get weight. So, um, there was one day I go out with him for dinner in a team. Um, with the whole team and he was there and he ate a cup of this. One cup. Finish. No more. And I said, when, you, when do you start to eat? And he said, yeah, I have to take my time. And he um, said, that's the reason why you won't gain weight. Because you eat too less. This is like, this is like a grandma. So, eat three, minimum, three of this big stuff. This liter is almost empty. So it should be one liter and three cups of this granola stuff so um, then it works it's it's like the same with the um, supplements the most people when they work supplements the best way is to take four spoons a day then you won't get ill second booster <clears throat> of course it's up to your um, individual system you need minimum two spoons once a day, that's the absolute minimum. Better is two spoons two times a day, and the maximum is two spoons, uh, um, three spoons two times a day. You won't need more. By the protein powder, you do it <clears throat> no more than twice a day, and the spoon is included, and you need no more twice a day, four spoons. You need no more, more, no more, never, ever. <clears throat> And if you have this, you have everything what you need for the first two, three months to build muscles in a fast way or losing fat. But I will explain it later how you lose fat, how you have to take this stuff when you want to lose fat, when you want to gain weight. It's different, of course it is. Good. See you later. <laughs> okay, right now I'm finished. <clears throat> um... This is empty. This is 750 milliliters, so I want to count my calories. You don't have to, but you have to see that you have to eat enough. So, um, 7.5 times 
57. 400 and 27.5 calories. So this was two, 500 grams, as you can see here. It's 500 grams inside. So let's see. I have a scale right now. <clears throat> I put this on the scale. 285. 285 grams are inside. That means I have eaten 200 grams. 200 times. Let's see. Um, oh my god. 474. 948 calories. 948 plus 427. <clears throat> 1,375 calories for breakfast. So you see, it's very easy. You just need a bowl, a spoon. You need one liter of this. And you make the nearly the half of this empty. So, for example, here are 750 grams inside. Now, 500, it's 50% more than in the other. So we will see. So. This is easiest way to get your calories, to get your protein. So for example, how much protein I have inside right now? Mm, give me a second. Oh my God. So we have, 22. so it's 24 grams of protein. A lot of people would say this is not enough, but if protein would build muscles alone, you won't find Bodybuilders never in the gym, only in the kitchen. That means if you want to look like a sprinter, do sprinting. If you want to look like a boxer, do boxing. If you want to look like a basketball player, play basketball. But if you want to look like a bodybuilder, make bodybuilding. It's the sport which forms the muscles, gives the muscles the shape. Um, and of course you have to eat, otherwise you won't have the power for the workout. But it's not eating a lot of protein and have a lot of muscles. So you need, I would say, no more than one gram of protein per kilogram of weight. That means two pounds is one gram of protein. There was, check it out by yourself, there was Nasa El Sombati. He was a bodybuilder from Yugoslavia and he has over 130 kilograms that's over 280 pounds and more on stage, ripped, and he eats only 130 grams of protein. There was Mike Benzer. He was next to Arnold Schwarzenegger on stage at the Mr. Olympia contest 1980. And his body weight was uh, something like 95, 98 kilograms, no more. And he eats the same amount of protein a day. Um, this I got from his book, uh, um, Heavy Duty and Heavy Duty Journal. He wrote two books um, about his workout and his diet. So check these sportsmen out and you will not find explanation why protein doesn't build a lot of muscles. The thing is, um, Nasser El Sombati, the bodybuilder, which was, uh, which was uh, next to um, Dorian Yates. He was the Mr. Olympia for seven years. And... Um, the thing was, Nasser said, it's not about the protein, it's about the calories. You have to eat enough, enough calories to build muscles, not about, not enough protein. Okay, see you later. <laughs> ah, I forgot to tell you the mango. The mango was, um, let's say, 250 grams. 250 grams, that's 2.5 times 60 calories, it's 150 calories. Okay, of course, the mango, the whole mango has a weight of about more than a half kilo. It's 600 grams. But um, the core is inside, the peel is inside, and um, this you don't eat. So it's, let's, say it's, let's say it's 200, maximum 200 calories. So this is a breakfast of 1,500 calories. It should make you big. <laughs> but you can't see it, huh? Okay. I want to show you what I'm talking about. Look, look at this. Can you see this? 40. It's 40. I have to measure it. Yeah, let's go. 
I think it's uh, if you want to have a nice bicep, you should have your neck is equal to the bicep. Then you have a nice bicep. I met somebody. He has good arms, and I say you have good arms. I, I measure it, and it was 37 centimeters. That's less than my underarm. Unbelievable. But it looked good. Then I measure his neck, and it was 37 centimeters. So here we go. I have to make it right. Let's see how big is my bicep. To show you that I'm not only talking, that I am a man of... Okay. 42.2. It's 42.2. All right, now my neck. Okay. Here we go. 42 it's 42 so you see the neck should be the bicep of course I have no real big biceps but it's not less as you can see um, and you see I'm, I'm ripped yeah you see my six-pack yeah I'm not big like a monster but I'm I have bicep I have even my calves are good. I show you this in the next videos. Um, for me, it's important that I show you that not to prove I'm the god. I am the the bad motherfucker. No, I show you that to prove that that what I'm talking is working. It works. Okay, you can say it works for you, but do it works for me. Yesterday, my lady was driving with a Moya, it's like an Uber or like a Lyft, and it's like a big taxi for six, seven people, and the driver knows me. He said, ah, I, so first they was talking a little bit, then she said, I want to go to my husband, and and um, he tells that you do some sports, but it doesn't work, and then he, she said, my uh, man is a personal trainer, and he said, what's the name of you? your husband and she said Sasha Mühle and he said I know him I was buying some stuff years ago in his shop I have a shop um, where I work as a manager at the Reeperbahn Reeperbahn is like the how can I say it for Germany the Reeperbahn is the same like the strip in Las Vegas but much more smaller of course it's much more smaller but of course yeah so, and I was working there in a bodybuilding shop, nutrition supplement shop, mm, of course not only for bodybuilders, but um, there was a lot of people who asked me, I want to gain weight. Of course, it's about the workout, it's about the, the recovery, yeah? You have to do something for yourself to calm down, sauna, yoga, collected some mushrooms, whatever, yeah, drive with your bicycle through the forest, it doesn't matter, but you have to do something, read a good book, you have to do something which brings you down, which lo loads, loads you up, and um, the most people doesn't do that, they just train hard, have stress in his relationship, have stress at the working place, in the job, have stress with the family, yeah, because uh, my mom said this, my father said this, my my uncle is dying, blah, blah, blah. This mixes you up in your brain. And you have to care first about yourself, because if you are healthy, if you are fit, if you have money, you can help people around you which needs your help, if you want to help. Because you have money to help, you have power to help you. But if you are sick, you are ill, you have, you are broke. How you can help? You can't. Because you have not the opportunities to help. So this you have to understand. If Even if you are a father or whatever, you say, ah, but I have a family, I have to be there. 
for my children, for my wife. You have to be for yourself. And if you feel good in yourself and you have power and energy, then you are a better father, a better husband. Of course you are. Because if you are not satisfied, you bring this all the places to all the places where you are. It doesn't matter. If you're not satisfied in your relationship, you bring it to your work. If you're not satisfied with your work, with your job, you bring it to your relationship. Oh, this was a bad day. Oh, the people are stupid, blah, blah, blah. So this is what I want to tell you. And um, I take you to a journey with myself. I, next year, I want to compete. Normally, I compete in the fitness class. Fitness class means mm, your body tallness minus 100. This is your maximum body weight plus 2 or 3 or 4. So I want to compete in a class where it's allowed to have a body weight, let's say, by 1 meter 84 centimeters or 184 centimeters, um, 90 kilo. If I weigh 90 kilo ripped, whew, you look perfect. Your body weight minus 100 plus 5. You look perfect as a man. Ripped. If you're a lady, your body weight minus 110. You look perfect. Maximum plus 5. That means if you are, you are, you are tall, let's say 165 centimeters, your body weight should no more. That's 70 kilo. Uh, I'm sorry. Your body weight should no more than, I'm sorry, 60 kilo. No more. Then you look perfect. So you are 170 centimeters, 65 kilo. Then you look perfect. Of course, if you do not make any sport, then you have no muscles. Then you should... Uh, your body weight should be less. Let's say you have 1 meter 65, you should weigh 55 kilo if you make no sport because there's no muscles. If you make sport, 60 kilo. Okay? Your body tallness in centimeters minus 105. Perfect. At the man, your body weight minus 95. You look perfect. When you gain muscles during your sport, when you are a weightlifter, a bodybuilder, a fitness athlete, um, what, what, any strongman, any kind of sport where you lift heavy weights. Good. That should be enough. My God, it's longer than I expect. But thank you for watching. See you later. The, the funny thing is, one guy told me you need anabolic light. Um, but because the thing is, it looks like I have nothing. But I have good arms, it, really, for sure. I have good arms. It's not like I have nothing. Ah, so you see, it's 60, I call 42 centimeters, 42 centimeters, 42 centimeters, and then uh, even the calves should be. Can you see that? You see that? Good. 42, 42, 42. Then you have a nice shape. This looks good. Thank you for watching. <laughs>